Hi, Dan, Tri Valley Trainer in Lean Online, and I'm going to take you through some lower body stretches for the quadriceps, the hip glute complex, and the hamstrings. Typically, athletes and, and folks who are sedentary, former athletes often, um, have tight hamstrings and a tight a hip glute complex. It's a really typical uh, tight area. So I'm going to show you a single sided stretch so you can focus on one and then the other and then also a double sided stretch for each. We're going to start off with a single sided hamstring stretch. You're lying supine, belly up. You're going to lace and cradle between your thumbs the pit of your left knee. The right leg is extended. Relax hip and knee, bring the quadriceps in tight to the rib cage. Keep the spine long, abdominal wall engaged, extend at the knee, pushing the heel towards the ceiling as you're keeping the tailbone planted into the, uh, into the mat. Don't let the arms open up, opening the angle at the hip. You want to keep that quadriceps in nice and tight to the rib cage and slowly extend at the knee. Once you've got a good amount of, uh, of load on the hamstring muscle, you want to relax that muscle because the quadriceps extending at the knee creates that load. Now you might get a little trembling. That's just your biceps versus your quadriceps trying to hold their respective positions. So that's fine. Just breathe through it and relax into it. If you ever feel like the, you're fighting the stretch, ease up on the stretch, take a big deep breath, relax into it, and then reapply a little bit of force on the stretch. Okay? That's the lying hamstring stretch. Here is our lying hip glute complex stretch. You're going to put the left knee and obviously do the same thing on the other side. Left knee at 90 degrees, cross over just above the ankle. Let the shin fall to its natural angle. Bring the left knee in, getting the mid shin in closer proximity to the sternum, where the ribcage meets in the side of the chest. And then if you need to hold on to the shin or the hamstrings on the, uh, on the, uh, uh, the knee that's loading the stretch, the leg that's loading the stretch. Go ahead and do that to support that. And then hold the stretches for 30 seconds. If you want to do a second round of stretches and hold them for 45 seconds, that's great. You'll feel a little bit more um, range on the second stretch. But on this stretch, once you've gotten, gotten into position, just hold it for 10 seconds and gently push the knee out away from the same side shoulder for about 10 seconds. That'll take the load out laterally to the hip. Come around. For another 10 seconds and bring your knee towards the opposite shoulder. Okay. So that's those are the single-sided stretches. Now here's a double-sided stretch for each one. This is called the umpire stretch. So feet are shoulder width, knees are stuck, and you drop all your forearms on your thighs. The back is flat. Shoulder blades are in. Maintaining or preserving that lumbar curve. Palms tilted forward. You extend in the knees without hunching and rounding and without opening up the angle of the hips. Slowly extend at the knees as you're keeping the spine long. More important to keep your spine long and maintain a certain degree of extension at the knees. If you feel the stretch in the hamstrings, not into the knees and the calves, if you're keeping the back flat, if the low back feels okay, you can bring your arms forward and drop weight, additional weight into the stretch. When you come out, hands on the thighs, press out. Here's the double sided hip stretch. Sitting cross leg, come up underneath, cradle the knees, lengthen the spine. So that you're maintaining that lumbar curve. Lead with your xiphoid process. That's the nature, that's the notch at the base of your spine. As you're pulling down and back on the knees to keep the spine long, you're not hunching and rounding to build up that lumbar curve, preserve that lumbar curve. Shoulder blades into it, spine down towards the pockets, relax the hips and glutes, just like the hamstring stretch. And once you've got uh, a decent stretch on the hip glute complex, you feel it there, there's nothing. You're not giving up the lumbar curve, you're not feeling it in the low back, you can bring your arms forward and drop the chest into it. But again, lengthen the spine, chin in, crown up, pelvis tilted forward. That is the double sided hip hip stretch.